Hello, respective viewers. It's George from Ireland. So here I am in one of the most curious places in London. I'm on Eel Pie Island. Completely pedestrian island, totally privately owned island. Um, and uh, you're not even supposed to cycle here. So Twickenham Rowing Club is just there. That was the entrance there too. You may be able to make out some of the rowing boats that way. So this is very shady eight um, in the middle of the Thames. So an eight is not in the number. Eight spelled A-I-T or sometimes E-Y-O-T is the river in the Thames and only in the Thames. A lot of people don't know that, even if they're Britons, even if they're Londoners. So some rather plain 1960s brick houses, some more characterful ones, you know, Victorian era ones, very quirky ones. It's a very zany place this. Um, so I'd recommend a visit, but it's uh, quite tranquil. Uh, but yeah, entirely privately owned and look, you know, just this footpath, that's it. Everything that comes here has to come, be, be, be hand carried, unless of course you deliver it by boat straight to your door. Look at the swap box for books. And a lot of people, they've got, um, they've got uh, um, their houses facing onto the river. So it's very quirky. Look at this for charm. Different, hey? Different, not just, um, not just identikit. So some sort of rather ramshackle house is a bit bohemian alternatives, lifestyle sort of people. And look at that, so mostly rather low rise. Um, I remember I came here a couple of years ago uh, in that coronavirus lockdown time. This crazy young man was following me, deranged, maybe he's been smoking the herb and accusing me of flirting with his girlfriend. I'd never seen it before. I didn't know who his bird was. So look at that, little lion statues there, millstones. How strange it is. Now in my book, strange is not a bad word. Ivy Castle. It's like a house has been torn down. Ivy Castle says the sign and being rebuilt to so the Lion Boatyard. So people are often building and repairing boats and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I've been past here at one of those special paddleboard things. So I'm, I'm told they're a bit funny about non-residents coming here, but no, there is no border control to come here. The moorings this house is called. And look at this, these little wooden houses. Aren't they characterful? Aren't they different? Um, I think she was talking to... Um, I'm not sure if I... She was talking to someone. And look at that one there. So you can only go up and down this path and then you've got to actually go into somebody's individual house. There must be a great sense of community here. So there's a footbridge, is the access to the island and the only egress from the island. So these poor builders, I suppose they bought their materials by boat. They have to still have to lift them some way. This dog y'all give me a good barking at. I'm being active. And there is, we're going about to see the Thames. Look at the Thames there. people didn't interrogate me more for going onto their precious eel pie island. I'm an alien. And yeah, so here we are above the Thames and this is the more or less the centre of Twickenham. So what a lovely place as you get more of an overview from it and looking at the weeping willow tree above eel pie island. So I suppose there must be eels in the river. I don't think people have eaten eel pie from there for a long time. There was a famous hotel there till the 70s. A lot of bands like the um, Rolling Stones played there very early in their career. I think the, the, the um, Beatles played there. And there used to be some sort of museum, like a rock museum of here. And then there's the old building, which is the disused swimming pool, closed down 20 years ago or something like that. Campaign to save it failed, I'm afraid. So that is the story of Eel Pie Island. And on the other side, you'll see the vegetarian, not veg, <laughs> veg, uh, vegetation is incredibly dense, just impassable in places, in case you're thinking of, of landing where it wasn't a mooring. So yeah, every inch of it is owned by somebody or other. There's no, there's no public space there, apart from, I suppose, the footpath. But they only want the residents and their guests to walk on it. So I suppose I got away with that one, walking down there. But the Thames regularly floods here because it's tidal down to Teddington. Teddington is a couple of miles yonder. Well to the west and I've seen it all the way up here so and then it's on towards King Street which is the which is the heart of Twickenham and London Road so not very far from Twickenham the Rugger Stadium I've only been in to a match once ever to my shame I really want to go again but uh, skint at the moment yeah so that's where the old um 
uh, swimming pool used to be, but what on earth are they doing with it? It's been disused for ages. You can still use the car park at least. And then um, Summer Twicken was relatively bland compared to that. But overall it's a very uh, attractive, um, well, former borough, but it was um, uh, integrated into Richmond-upon-Thames way back in the 1960s when they rationalised the London boroughs from 85 down to 32. There's the old Twickenham Town Hall, but that now functions as a Richmond Town Hall because the erstwhile Richmond Town Hall is a library and a museum and so forth. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching my channel and make sure you subscribe on Patreon and donate on PayPal georgecallahan79 at gmail.com Another thing to bear in mind is that um, yeah, videos coming out all the time reciting poetry and I do online lessons in history, English, literature, English language, English as a foreign language, so, you know, exams like um, IELTS, academic IELTS, and indeed, and indeed, um, what's it called, the other one, general IELTS. Oh look, white rose, modern funerals. That's nice as a bit of for ancient funerals because if you die now, I suppose you can't really have a funeral a thousand years ago. But um, does it mean non-religious or something? Happy funerals. And, and look at this. All the St George's flags out for the lionesses who, were, alas and alack, were not triumphant, bested by the Spaniards. Um, so then they closed down Barclays here. They've closed down HSBC. They closed down Halifax. There used to be three banks in this corner, but they've all gone the way of all flesh. More's the pity. So um, anyway, I've got to go somewhere quite soon. Uh, right, so thank you for tuning into my channel and uh, I'll see you all very soon. I'm not just bringing out to get to eight minutes so that I can monetize it, but then someone told me you can monetize it if it's not quite eight minutes. I'm not so sure about that. But Timpson's been here since 2007, since I very first came to the area. Um, right, what was I going to say? It's not quite two o'clock. Relatively busy Monday. I should have gone walked up and down Eel Pie Island a bit more, <coughs> but I was worried that the, the um, natives would be unfriendly and say, What are you doing here? Who are you, burgling, whatever? Well, I just visited the rowing club and my mate lives here. Oh, yeah, what's his name? Her name. Where does she live? So I got away with it this time. I was followed by this crazy little bloke who might stab me or something last time, calling me to stop, and I wouldn't. Okay. So we're home and dry, really. So you've got a taste of Twickenham in case you've never been here, um, which is highly delightful. And hard by Old Father Thames. And the river wanders his own sweet will. This is where Sir Alexander Pope lived. I've filmed where his grave is in the church, very close to here. Right, I'm going to switch it off now. Goodbye, everyone. So make sure you give me a massive donation.